Hi everybody, this is Yusuf and welcome to my kitchen. Today we are going to make another Persian dish called Khoreshte Bamiye, which is a okra stew. Okra is loved with everybody all around the world, especially in Arab country, India, Pakistan, Afghanistan, and Iran. It's going to be very delicious if you do it, do it the right way. And we are going to over the ingredients and start making it. Okay, our ingredients started from the okra. I do have about like 750 grams of okra. I usually used to buy those fresh and make them. I did recently one of the frozen one, which is this one, and it turned to be wonderful. And that's why I decided to take it, you know, for this time to show you it was frozen. And the reason is because all almost the same size and very young and a wonderful taste. So then I have a beef or a meat, which uh, it's about like a 500 gram of the stew beef and about two lamb shanks. So this food could be made by either beef a lamb or chicken so I decided to make you know just combination of beef and lamb because I, the lamb is, gives you the taste and is, is going to be wonderful also it's going to be shrinking so I use some beef also so it's a, a half a kilogram 500 gram of the stew and a 500 gram of the shank and I do have some liquid saffron, which I'm going to show you uh, one of these uh, video how to make that. It's some uh, saffron powder and uh, just a little bit of hot water or boiled water. And uh, I have three uh, tablespoons of tomato paste. I have one cinnamon steak and quarter of teaspoon cumin. It's about two uh, teaspoon turmeric one and a half black pepper, about quarter of teaspoon the red chili or red pepper, uh, about one and a half to two teaspoon of salt, which is all depends on how do you want it. You can add it or less. Some oil, uh, cooking oil. I have one onion, which I already diced that. One lime, I'm gonna use it at the end, and four tomatoes. And we're going to start it by sauteing our onion and we go from there. Okay, we're going to add some cooking oil and let it get hot. And then we're going to add the onion. Okay, we just try to turn it on and adjust uh, with the spoon and uh, not to burn one side. You just want to be as soon as it turns the color and loosen up to getting a little bit brown then we're going to add the turmeric and then you know the meat and the rest of the ingredients so just occasionally you just turn this around and let it to cook evenly as you see this uh, onion it turns to be golden and it's a time to add some of this turmeric which I'm going to put a half of the turmeric right now and immediately uh, with the meat that I'm going to add to it so just put a half of it right now and the other half when I add the meat so it's, it's just let it uh, cook with the turmeric for another couple minutes and then we add the meat to it okay it's very nice color it's golden beautiful now we add the meat to this As I said, we're going to add the, um, the, half, the other half of turmeric also right now with pepper 
both of the black and chili right at this time and try to cook them this way about like a six to seven minutes as soon as the most of the red color turn to brown then we are going to add the tomato paste also and let it cook for another three to five more minutes then we add the water okay all the meats are turned brown and uh, it's been like a seven minutes or so now it's the time to add the tomato paste and I'm gonna saute that about two or three more minutes in the bottom one more minute I'm gonna add the cinnamon stick and cumin to it and the water and let it cook for about almost two hours and meanwhile we're going to saute our okra in separate pan here I'm going to add that cumin powder which is just a little bit it's not too much and cinnamon stick now it's the time to add my hot water to this it's about maybe about the one and a half liter or just to cover the meat you know it, it's enough it's good all right and uh, just uh, put them in a high heat for a few minutes then we lower the heat and let it cook for as I said maybe two hours or two and a half and we check on that one if it's meat is done then we're going to add our okra that is going to be sauteed right now and that's what we're going to do in a separate pan put some oil cooking oil and then uh, we're going to put the our okra let me put the lids on this one and uh, then we're going to go over the our okra okay these are very delicate and uh, you have to be very careful by tossing it around and turning around and you don't want to injure it or just make it break very carefully and we're going to turn around it's going to start sizzling and that's the time that we're going to toss these things around as I said you know very very gentle because as I said it's very delicate and we don't want to you know just punch them so it's going to be intact the way it is so that's very important going to prepare this for the our stew but we are going to use almost at the end okay it seems our okra uh, nicely has been fried and uh, what we are going to do I'm going to put it aside till is the time which is about like a 15 minutes before we just serve we're going to add to the meat and uh, it's the time that meat is done and cooked so it's the time that I add the salt if you notice I haven't put the salt yet and okra and some of my lime juice so I'm going to prepare my rice and uh, there, there are uh, there is a video for how to cook it or most of my foods it shows you know how to prepare the rice so I'm gonna go and prepare that one because uh, 
like every other Iranian stew, you have to serve it with the rice. Uh, I think it's been over a little bit over two hours that the meats are cooking and uh, this is a time to add the salt and uh, saffron. Actually, saffron is just a liquid saffron, just as powder saffron, which I grind the saffron and add the uh, boiling water. And that's very easy. And uh, also taking out the cinnamon stick and it's a time for it that's been enough into this let me find it out where it is it's somewhere here here you go okay take this out and add the salt so and some of this saffron and that's about like a another uh, half an hour or so we are going to add the okra and uh, also tomato uh, it's been about three hours that is uh, meat is cooking and uh, I think we're getting there that it's almost done so it's the time to add these okras into it and uh, also tomato and the last ingredients that I had it was a lime that I'm just gonna put some of the juice into it and we wait another 15 minutes then the food's gonna be ready then we're gonna serve the food okay here we are I guess it's better to use this to get all the juice out. And you're gonna use the rest of saffron and we are done. We wait for maybe 15 minutes at the most or 20 and then it's going to be done okay guys our food is ready and uh, this is a wonderful uh, okra stew as you see it turns beautiful and the tastes are fantastic as always we serve our Persian stew with the raw rice which is the basmati rice with the zafrani and a wonderful tadik crispy rice and uh, I wish you were here, you could taste this. All right, thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, I appreciate for watching my video. Uh, if you have uh, any comments or suggestion or if request, please let me know. Probably we're gonna make it in one day. And uh, I, again, I truly appreciate and uh, for your time and your support. And I wish to see you next time with the, another Persian dish. Till then, bye.